welcome to my nightmare. Today I am decluttering all of my craft supplies. So here's the thing, we're moving in like two weeks. We're definitely very sick and like uh, delusional right now. <laughs> we're behind. Everything's still out as far as like my craft stuff goes because I was like, oh, I wanna be able to have fun. I wanna be able to enjoy myself. And now I'm regretting that. But yesterday I made this. This may be like my last thing I do for a while. During this whole month of our move, I don't think I'm gonna have much time to like actually make. But I did wanna put together this pile of red scraps I've had because I was so curious. It looks pretty cute. So that was a big feeling of accomplishment. And uh, that is sort of motivating me now. <laughs> I like to watch cleaning videos. So um, I feel like I know how to make one, but I've never done it before. So let's see how it goes. I don't know. I'm starting with the desk that's in the living room. And then we have... Well, I have a whole other problem space, which is what used to be like the walk-in closet in this unit. That needs to get totally cleared out. I need to put the shelves back before we're out of here. I'm trying to score some obvious wins by putting big things away. So I'm putting this whole scrap project away. These are all the scraps that I've made the same width now. Honestly, this bag is pretty big for them. It would be very chaotic if this got everywhere, so I'm hoping this really helps it stay contained. A lot of the rest of this is going to be like difficult sorting for me because I'll have to decide what to donate. Ooh, it's a problem. Very good. This looks fine, right? Yeah. Okay. You did a good job. This is a fun little, like, other scrap project. See how it's doing. Look at all the, the threads I've collected. <laughs> Stick that right on in there. Well, I made my discovery, my first discovery of something I had long uh, given up hope on. These little snap notions. There's a big old cat fur on this one. I was going to use these for a specific skirt top combo I was making, and then I just gave up when I couldn't find them. I have these lofty goals of like making this more organized than it currently is. Um, even though like the moving stuff is so chaotic, it's like, well, this is a good time to organize. But if it really comes down to it, I will just be throwing things in boxes. So this thread rack thing is a bit of a problem child. I'm gonna try to pack the spools in a way so they're not like at risk of tangling and absolutely everything else. Oh, oh, we got the zoomies. They're gonna tangle with each other, but so it will be, I guess. And then I think I have a box done, basically of like tools and sewing stuff. I actually have a bunch of other thread in here. I'm gonna grab this real quick too. There's box number one before it gets closed up. I'm both happy and 
totally crushed by how long this took me. <laughs> but a lot of the other stuff that I'm going to do today is just like for sure going to get rid of or donate. This I had to think about. Hopefully less thinking now. A little break. Welcome to the floor. Really a shock that we didn't end up here sooner. Um, so this is where we get into stuff from a purchase I made on Facebook Marketplace. That was just like a bunch of cosplay craft stuff for $50 or $60. And I got it mostly because of this foam. This is like a $50 tube of foam, I'm pretty sure. Just by itself. So I was like, yeah, I'll take it all. And then the lady ended up giving me so much more stuff than even she originally intended to. And yeah. It's a lot. I have I have several piles of things that are just acquired because they were very cheap or because they were literally on the road. And there's a few of those down here too. So now, yeah, gotta go through that. I think the biggest challenge here is like, where do I even put them right now? Before we donate them. Buried at the bottom of that hamper of craft supplies I got from Marketplace were these half-completed foam swords, so that was a funny find. And then, just in a sec here, there's going to be a clip of some tape on the floor. That's the area we had to work with, with our U-Pack. So this is how we planned. I got a lot done today. I mean, obviously, efforts continue. But that box is almost full. And I'm in the process of sorting, like, all that stuff to be donated. Star's happy that things have kind of settled down finally for the early evening. He has concerns. Yeah, I'm going to need to bribe him a lot to make him feel better about this whole situation. We're back again. Day two of sorting craft supplies. I found more stuff than I was really calculating. But... Just gotta keep going at it. Progress so far is pretty good. Stardust! Do you like Box Mountain? You ain't gonna throw up, are you? That was a very scary looking gulp, but I think you're good. <laughs> you wanna know what I'm doing with my PVC pipe? Do you want to know if it will let you escape out the door? It will not. He wants it so bad. So this is um, a 10 foot long PVC pipe that I bought for $9 and I was going to turn it into a frame to make my punch meal rugs. And then um, I just never did it. And just because our shipping container is only nine feet long, um, I have to do it now. So this is my little side quest for today. I'm gonna chop it into two and a half foot segments and put my little frame together, but then probably take it apart and put it in a box. And then the craft sorting begins again. Serious business time. Okay, yeah, smoky noises. Noises, just like you. Three boxes of yarn, hopefully becoming one box of yarn. That's my goal. I'm recording for my vlog, but I'm also laying the ground rules. <laughs> so, I thought about it, but most of them are pretty hard. Like, I don't think that can get squashed down anymore, right? You can squash down to maybe like half the size. Maybe I'll do one, try it out. Do we have one vacuum pack? Oh, am I in the way? No. Okay. This box is mostly the stuff I dyed myself. So this is mostly automatic, yes. 
breezy. You see the dust bunnies? You're just one big dust bunny. Ah. You having a fun day? The cats have been kind of stressed out by this whole process. They want all their stuff to stay in the same place. So they know how to how to make all the shenanigans. Yeah, and you have to find new shenanigans to do. I don't know why this blue has faded so much because like it wasn't in the sun. This was black beans. Organic black beans make blue yarn. This was black beans, but much, much worse, and you can barely see it anymore. That can be donated. This is sugar and cream cotton that I hate. Goodbye. Then we have like a multitude of yellow yarn. Um, I think this, one of these is from Goldenrod. I think it's this one. That one's pretty. This one I think is from those little, oh, azaleas? Yeah, that's what they're called. Another yellow, a very unintentional one, because those were like pink flowers. I had some hopes of getting deeper tones. This is a very, another very, very faded one, one of my earliest. This is from Black Oak Acorns. This is more acrylic. Lichen. These are really nice. More lichen. More, but in a finer fiber. That one's cool. English ivy and iron oxide. And more of that, but in a mohair. And some other weird fibers. It's kind of a subtle green, but it looks pretty cool in real life. All this stuff, very special to me. But sometimes when yarn is special, I don't think of the right projects to use it for. Now, so this yarn has been under our bed for these past four years, so I'm trying to be pretty realistic about it. Multicolored cake, gonna go. This, I will eventually use this yarn. It's from Knit Picks. This is a different Knit Picks yarn. It's like crochet thread. Just kind of nice. So this tower here is what I've been using to display some of the yarn that I'm like actively using. And uh, it's all worsted weight acrylic right now because I've been using this for punch needle. And most of it's stuff that I bought secondhand. I think we're gonna hang on to it. Unless there's any really hideous colors in here, but. Like I said, I've been using these. Doesn't even phase me at this point. It's just rocking and rolling. Should I get rid of the coral? Join your brethren. Be gone. And I think I'm gonna keep this. I'm pretty sure it's a toilet paper holder, but I like it for yarn. It's been fun. And then I did fill up this bag. She occasionally makes snide comments in the background. 
Okay, so it still looks pretty bad in here. There are two squishmallows on the ground because my cats. But we did sort all of the yarn and all the fabric today. Except that. I don't know what we're going to do with that big ball of roving. Hopefully something. I want to keep it. This, a lot of this can be condensed very easily. Um, but hopefully tomorrow I can get the Calax shelf, the little drawers, maybe the pegboard out of here. Um, just so I can keep moving things onto like Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. So evidently I thought I recorded this clip on normal mode, which is not the case. This is a time lapse, so you'll see me talking the whole time while I'm sorting through all these things and showing you uh, who knows what. There were a lot of objects within objects that I probably could have just thrown in boxes, but I really did take about an hour to kind of like remove some things so we could get them donated and just de-stash a bit in general. Of course, this is a very fascinating process for the kitties, and they want to be in all of the empty containers quite desperately. I took down my pegboard, and I ended up donating this whole pegboard setup, plus another panel of it, actually, to one of my neighbors, which was great. Good buy-nothing group moment there. I'm definitely one to get caught up in the nostalgia of like every single object when I have to do tasks like this, but I managed to stay pretty efficient and I got a lot of things sorted into these boxes, which then fit directly into that yellow Calax unit you saw. We're finally doing the studio. Look how empty it looks. Uh, this is going, I feel like pretty well. I'm clearing out a lot of things. I'm hopefully going to like just bring this shelf with all the boxes in it. I'm packing the boxes pretty full. So I think we're gonna get done with this this morning, hopefully. What? Um, some interesting finds. My old Peely bag of nail polish. <laughs> I don't do this anymore, but this is hilarious. It's Lily. Kind of weird and cool. You like it up there? I don't know if he enjoys it as much as he expected to. <laughs> you stuck? Hmm. Yep. <laughs> guys but look look at the mark that my rug mat left I have no idea what to do about that I'm gonna have to try to scrub that off got a couple things there I still have questions about a pile of trash my desk what do you think it's so empty it's so empty buddy yeah it's weird this desktop I mean it's really messed up has a bunch of stains on it, so I'm gonna take that downstairs, but I'm thinking about saving the legs to maybe use or to give away. I don't know. Like, we could get another tabletop and put it in our place. But I don't know if we need one. I'm feeling... I mean, this just feels awful sometimes. I hate this. <laughs> like, every second that goes by, I'm like, oh, well, it's kind of nice to be starting fresh and going through all this stuff and picking, you know, the nice things to save. And then I'm like, I hate everything. 
everything. I hate everything about this. So, <laughs> going great. Um, this is a lot faster than I expected, though. It's 12.30. Like, the day is new still, kind of. And it's mostly done. So, pretty happy with that. There's stuff in here that needs, like, a little bit of fixing and cleaning. But my parents are coming today, so maybe that's something they can help with. I've gone full floor mode. I'm so utterly defeated by moving. And this is the first time I've done this where I've been working a lot at the same time. Uh, my schedule really didn't work out this month, so even though I'm a freelancer and I set my own schedule, I'm really busy. My house is in boxes. I'm like on Messenger trying to get rid of all my stuff as fast as possible. My parents are in town tonight. It's just like everything all at once. So here's floor time with my random assortment of things and cat fur and dust. In this shirt I finished that I'm trying to feel good about because it was a really long term art project and it turned out pretty cute, but it feels so anticlimactic and sad to have finished this thing that I put together piece by piece for so long while we were here. I'm, I'm dead. Before, before I sign off, let me show you the project I'm going to be working on during the road trip part of this whole experience. So this is my swatch. I made this from this ball of scrap yarn. What do you think? Like, who are you talking to? Me? Okay, I'm gonna make one of those cat beanies, the cat ear beanies that are just like a rectangle that you fold in half. It's gonna be low-key ugly, I think. I might be the only person who likes this decision, but I'm keeping the little parts I knotted each scrap. Um to like the next one, I'm keeping it and I'm gonna like brush out these tails. I already sort of tried it on the swatch. Uh, it's gonna be so strange. And there will be a lot more of them like, because it'll be a little bit wider than this. It'll be about that wide. That might be too much. No, it'll be about this, it, it'll lay really skinny but it'll stretch out to about that wide. So this is gonna go in my backpack and I'm gonna work on it in the car, I guess. The swatch is a little funky because even though they're mostly worsted weight, there's some, some variability. So that'll be interesting. It measures out pretty consistently though. It's a good thing I had my quilting ruler out because I needed it to measure. Um, okay, but this has been, if not a complete documentation of uh, decluttering my craft supplies, I think I got a lot in this video. <laughs> so it'll probably be a while before I upload this and then a while before I upload the next one, but if you want to follow along with the journey, you can always subscribe here or on, you know, the other places that are linked down below. I will love and appreciate you if you do that. And make sure you do something fun for yourself. Make something that makes you happy today. Until next time, this is Emrose. Bye!